I kind of maybe want to show off the girls because Marshall hasn't seen me like. Yeah, boys, though. Here's, here's the thing. But I'm excited. What is this? Why? What are you doing to me? Oh, gosh. Because I found it's things to help out on a date. You get it's your all, it's Michael all, earring? It's all about outfits. Uh, well, yeah. And this is why, who better to help you than me? It's all about outfits, and I'm mm-hmm. upset because yeah. the outfit that I was originally going to wear, I can't because it's supposed to be cold and foggy and rainy. Well, you're not eating outside. No, but we're going to go walk around outside afterwards. Yes. So I have to coordinate like the shoe choice because I don't want it to be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to wear some pants that are a little more forgiving because Mama wants to eat. I kind of maybe want to show off the girls because Marshall hasn't seen me like... Yeah, boys, though. You done? Anyway, I want to look really, really pretty for him, so I'm, I'm I definitely yeah. want to like make the outfit special. Well, so here's the, I hate the, you, the this the relationship coach, oh, Luann Ward, uh, talks about the importance of impressions on date with your clothing. Yes, I didn't realize that clothes 100%. could signal so much on a date. So. First thing I look for in a guy or did before I found Marshall is nails and shoes. Well, here's they say shoes says a lot about a man's style and personality. That's what that's for you, 100 percent true. Because you'll wear all black, but you'll have like a certain pair of shoes. I've learned to accentuate color. Is that what it is? Is that yes, what I do? And your shoes tell a lot about your mood. Do they really? Oh my god, yeah. Wait, like in what if way? you're chilling and you're just wearing like your white regular Yeezys and they're like um, not tied really tightly, you're in a laid back mood. If you have a meeting and you're in boss mode, you're gonna wear the Yeezys that or the Nikes that are high tops. Those are your go to yeah. like dress up shoe. Oh god. Oh yes. I guess I didn't realize I did that. You do. Damn it. This yep. Is- Okay. Well, this shoes is- say a lot about it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. Okay. So with Marshall, then did you, did you look at his shoes? Well, we went for a hike the very first time we ever went on a date, but okay. I did because I noticed that his shoes were not straggly. You know what I mean? Even though we were going somewhere and they were going to get dirty, they didn't have like holes in them. Sure. He had his laces tied properly. It, yeah. I'm so weird that I didn't noticed that, but I yeah. did. Yeah. Um, so they say Crocs, what? <laughs> sandals, slides, and socks, let them go. Uh, this is the other thing this, this dating coach says about clothing is knowing your body type. Yes. So not wearing dad jeans. And taking pride in your appearance is a huge component of dating and attraction. I'm really big on the whole just yeah. because it fits you doesn't mean you should wear it. Mm. And that's true for me and everybody on this yeah. earth. And then also, if you're going to show off one, don't show off the other. Like, if I'm showing off the top half, don't show off the legs. If I'm showing off the legs, I cover up the top half. Well, what the hell? Can, as a dude, what, what can I show off then? The top half and bottom half? You have half. a donk Arms. for days. Yeah. Ew, don't do that to me. No, I do. Uh, Ugh. That's true. I feel um, like your biggest strong suit is probably your shoulders. Okay. And this is weird, but your butt. Thank you. You're welcome. Although my shoulder hurts right now because of my vaccine. But that's You'll okay. be all right. So I guess um, the one thing this, this dating coach says, too, it's amazing how many people don't understand the importance of nonverbal communication. Oh, God, and yeah. And that your clothing is a huge form of communication, especially on a date. A hundred percent. I always say that clothing is wearable art. And if you're putting your best statue forward, if you will, totally. Because, like, my outfits say a lot about me. Back in the day when I was dating, if I wore a dress, you were something special. But you were even more something special if I dared to come out wearing, like, a T-shirt and some kicks. Mm. Because that meant I really just wanted to be myself. And I wanted you to get to know me and not the outfit. Hence, me and Marshall, when we met, I was wearing workout clothes. Oh, okay, because you want him to get to know you and not the other. Yeah, it was the only person yeah. in a long time that I was like, all right, here I am. Take it or leave it. Sure. It's going to work or it didn't, and thank God it did. Does he know to dress up for this? He does. He's so cute. He's like, babe, is there anything you want me to wear? And I was just like, um, no. I was like, I want you to be comfortable. He's like, well, what about that one like denim shirt that you bought me that you like so much? I was like, you're so cute that you thought about that. Well, we, God, we, I love him. Can we call him real quick? Can yeah, call, he might be in, in with the resu- uh, recruits, but he might answer. Okay, because I'm, I'm curious to see his thoughts. Okay, so you've, you basically have this all planned out then. Yes. Okay. This is one of those things I do just don't realize. Like, I, I would have known that. You're checking out my clothes on a date. I would have no idea that like. Well, to you even should think about know that. now. Hence, why the other day when you were in the COVID line, I tried to give you the perfect outfit and you didn't listen to me. Well, you know that's also <laughs> like that. That wouldn't have worked anyway. Anyway, I don't think because I mean, we're doing like the vaccine stuff. You know okay, what I mean? but if you saw a cute, eligible woman that was you know amiable, it would have worked out if you would have worn the outfit that I gave you. Let me just do this. Hold on. If he has an answer, I think he canceled it. 
No. Oh, let me get to because I I uh, texted Marshall yesterday something to try to mess with him, and it came across completely wrong. It made it seem like yeah, you text me sweet nothings, and I want Marshall texting sweet nothings. Hilarious to me. So hold on, hold on, calling you. <laughs> Do you guys? What time is the sitter done? Uh, uh nine. It doesn't leave you guys a lot of time then, 6.39? Yeah, it does. You going to fly through dinner? I'm not going to fly through it, but I mean, how long do you want me to eat? I don't know, like an hour and a half? It's like three hours. The restaurant's like two minutes away from our house. Okay. Well, that's different then. He might not answer this number. I texted him oh, saying, saying, calling you. You guys have like your own little what? micro relationship happening right well, now. Well, he is he is like a trainer Please of mine. Leave your message okay. Hold oh, on. Nope. Ah, get his number. I'm, I'm going to leave a voicemail because I like I did with the wedding you planners. Voicemails, Listen, man. Marshall. You didn't answer the phone, but that's okay. Know that I love you, and if she so much as lays a finger on you tonight, I plan oh on laying gosh. fingers on him. Okay. Depending on you where you open it up, sir. Depending on where those fingers are laid, sir. If you don't feel comfortable, wow. you call me, and I'll come save you. Okay. Have a blessed night. Love you. You just made it awkward. Uh, what, what, are you you Listen, what the? What was? I don't know what the I hell that, know, was. What was that I pushed. I pushed one to try to send. Okay. I think that's playback. Certain things are oh, playback. Oh, damn it. I pushed one yeah. because with the with the voice people, it yeah, was- Yeah, you um, it sent the message out. Son of a- Okay, well, anyway. Mm.